window. Wardlow, don't you dare touch that window! You're gonna tamper with the evidence. All right, well, what time is it? It's about 4.30 a.m. Take his temperature. degrees Fahrenheit. Hmm. This thermostat reads 76 degrees. It's now 630. What's his body temperature? 85.8 degrees. Hey look, I found his pocketbook. Oh, perfect. Take a look at this. Huh. Seems that the people he was closest to were his wife, his business partner, and the butler. Hmm. We should bring him in for questioning. Well, Miss Wolfenberg, where were you last night when your husband was being brutally murdered? I was at the theater. The show ended at 10.30, and I arrived home by 11 p.m. I went straight to bed. You can even ask the maid. Well, you don't seem very distraught, even after have just lo losing your husband. Of course I'm distraught. That's what happens when you marry a man for his money. So, Jacques, the butler, you thought that you could murder your boss while he is dead in the ground, pushing up daisies, just so you wouldn't have to work anymore? He is not pushing up daisies. He is dead. It was an idiom. You, sir, as the idiom. Well, then what were you doing? Well, it was my night off. So I went to the local pub and I had some claps and wine. What time were you home? I was home five minutes after ten. Ask the other servers if you must. And how can I even kill him? I am blind in one eye. So, Mr. Sergey, the business partner, where were you last night? Last night, I was in the office doing paperwork. I was there all night long. What time did you get home? I got home at... 10.30. You can even ask my wife. Well, you should be assured that I will. Hey, forensic scientist, what you got for me? Well, Detective Wardlow, from the data that you had given me, you told me that at 4.30 a.m. the temperature of the body was 88 degrees Fahrenheit and the room temperature was 76 degrees Fahrenheit. And then, at 6.30, the body temperature had decreased to 85.8 degrees Fahrenheit. And so, I created, well, I didn't create it, I used it, <laughs> this equation from Newton's Law of Cooling. The T stands for the temperature, this one. TS is temperature of the surroundings. TO, original temperature. TS, temperature of surroundings. Time is little t. And we are looking for K. So first, I plugged in all of these numbers here. 85.8 minus 76 room temperature 88 which was the original temperature minus 76 times e to the negative k times 120 I did it in minutes 120 is two hours in minutes so then this equals 9.8 equals 12 e to the negative k times 120 and then I divided by 12 and to get rid of this E, I natural logged both sides, and this cancels or equals 1, really. And then the ln of 9.8 divided by 12 divided by negative 120 is K. Now I took this constant and I plugged it into another equation where I used the temperature at 630, 85.8, minus the temperature of the surroundings. But I changed TO to the original body temperature, 98.6, that is the human temperature, minus 76 temperature surroundings, E to K, which we had just found, times T. Because we are looking for the time between this temperature and this temperature to see when Mr. Wolfenberg, in fact, died. And so again, this equals 9.8, and then this equals 22.6 E to the negative KT. I just didn't want to write it out, but that's K. A natural log to both sides, so the ln of 9.8 divided by 22.6 equals negative kt. And then you're going to divide this by negative k to find t. So t 
is the natural log of 9.8 divided by 22.6. And that's all divided by the negative natural log of 9.8 divided by 12 divided by negative 120. It sounds confusing, but when you plug that into a calculator, you find that t, t is 495 minutes. Now, 495 minutes is around 8 hours and 25 minutes. Now, when you work backwards from 6.30, you find that Mr. Wolfenberg, in fact, died at 10.05. Then it must have been the businessman. Because he was the only one who didn't have the right alibi. The wife was still at the theater, and the butler had, was arrived at home. And they would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for you meddling detectives. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Well, looks like it was just another successful day on CSI Evergreen.